The COVID-19 crisis has left a much-loved community organisation in South Auckland fighting for its survival. The Papatoi Toi Boxing Club is most well known as the place where New Zealand heavyweight and former world champion Joseph Parker got his start. But it's also a place which has provided three decades of invaluable service to the community. Clay Wilson and video journalist Dan Cook found out how a club that finds itself on the ropes is refusing to throw in the towel. For 30 years, teenagers like Faraday Moronga have spent their weeknights sweating it out at the Papa Tui Tui Boxing Club. Hours upon hours spent learning the skills required to be successful in the ring. But for Faraday and many others who come through the doors, the South Auckland gym is much more than just a boxing club. It feels like home when you come to this gym, like you have another home. So for other people that come here, they feel safe. They feel like they've been wanted, so there's no other place like this than home. But that feeling of security is coming under threat. The COVID-19 crisis hit the club like a right hook to the ribcage, drying up the poker machine funding it relies on for 95% of its operating costs. Grant Arkell has owned and operated the gym since opening it alongside Tongan Kiwi boxing legend, the late Manny Santos, in 1990. He says realising the precarious position was tough. I thought if I've got to move out of here, I've got to start up somewhere again. Um, and I don't want to lose them. Um, yeah, it was, was like a big part of your life. It's just a matter of trying to stay in this area so I can keep these kids going. Because um, the majority come from around South Auckland. And, uh, yeah, I think they would have, a lot of them would have been lost if this place had closed down. A statement which rings true when you hear what other roles the club plays. Arkell says he and his wife Mary offer much more than just a place to learn about boxing. You're a social worker. You're a father to some of them. Um, you, when, they, when they have babies, Mary's knitting for some of them. Um, you know, it goes on and on and on. Karen Otai is a former boxer at the club who volunteers her time to help in any way she can. Hearing news the gym's future was under threat, she wasted no time in setting up a give a little page to start the fundraising drive. Within 24 hours, more than $3,000 had been donated. And last week, that figure ticked over to 10000 of the $25,000 goal. Otai wasn't surprised to see donations from as far afield as the UK and South America. It's a safe haven. You know, you come in, you walk in and it's a safe space. There's no outside noise. Um, no one's talking about what they did before or after. Um, it's really just about the boxing. Um, and Grant and Mary do a great job at, you know, protecting the space, the safe space. Um, and that's why it's important that we keep it. Arkel says for some of his boxers, the risks of not being at the gym are high. A lot of them have told me that if it wasn't for the boxing, they'd have joined the game or, or got into some sort of trouble. We have lost a couple to, to um, the gangs, um, but then they, they come back. Demand here at the Papatui Tui Boxing Club has been high for years, with the waitlist at times swelling to as many as 100 people. But high demand doesn't mean high prices. Younger members paying just $30 a month and adults 60 Arkel keeps prices that low to make the gym and what it offers accessible to as many in the community as possible. We're not in it for money, we're in here because we're passionate about the sport and um, we just want to help these kids, that's it. Right now though, money is exactly what's needed and everyone associated with the club is taking up the fight. $2,000 has been raised through the sale of cupcakes and pre-prepared barbecue meals. Local businesses are chipping in, and the club's most famous former member, Joseph Parker, is using his profile to help however he can. Even those who can't afford to be generous are doing so, and Arkel is feeling positive. Some families have been trying to pay in advance, um, which I don't want them to do because I know they're all struggling. Some of, them, some of the parents are out of work. Um, some of the older guys that are, that are working have, have offered to pay twice their fees and three times their fees just to help us get through. Their gestures would show just how much the club means to those who benefit from it. Those like Faraday Moronga. 
who runs an hour to get there from his home in Manurewa after a 10-hour day at a nearby welding company. The 18-year-old says it's a small sacrifice given everything that Jim has taught him. Just being humble there, you know, not going out on the streets. Because when you come here, everything changes. You become from like a naughty boy to like real humble, to stick to yourself. So that's what I learned is to always stick to yourself and be humble. Down for now, but Grant Arkell and the Papatoi Toi Boxing Club certainly aren't ready to be counted out. Motihotaka o te ahi pōnei, ko Clay Wilson a hau.